Become more clever by using one of these 7 hidden tips so that your journeys in Genshin Impact can become even more intriguing. If you ever have a character who's low on health or you just revive them with food, you can use this one-time useful tip to get some primo gems for free. The easiest way to get these primo gems would be by going to Mount Hula and breaking some of the giant amber crystals around. Now you might find chests or even monsters, but the biggest baddie of them all is going to be the boar. And this mighty fellow can get easily scared, so you'll get knocked out, which results in you unlocking the boar to death achievement. And if you still haven't noticed, unlocking all achievements from a single category will grant you a cosmetic name card award. This next tip is very useful for when you're dealing with various annoying enemies. Anytime you're fighting near water, you can use various characters to knock your enemies away and send them to their drowning fates. One of the more few interesting things is that some of the enemies, like Hilly Churls, aren't the brightest of the bunch and might even follow you directly to where you're standing, sometimes finishing themselves off by their own will. And you don't even need to be standing near mountain edges to drop enemies in water, for example, the trap Traveler's skill is plenty enough to drop this Fatui agent into water, since it goes from shallow to deep very quickly. Of course, not all enemies are susceptible to drowning and this exception only applies to cryo slimes and possibly other frost type creatures. It's hard to pay attention to elemental statuses since they don't really bother you that much when you're just starting out in the game. However, once you start getting into more deeper floors of the Spiral Abyss, you'll start encountering enemies that can apply irritating debuffs, for example, setting your character on fire. And switching character to another one won't remove this status quickly, so it's an annoying issue to deal with. Luckily for us, some of the characters come with the ability to self-inflict a status effect on themselves. One good example is Barbara. Her elemental skill Skill applies wet status on herself and everyone around her, so if you see that she's on fire, you can use the skill to create an elemental reaction and vaporize the fire away. You might have noticed that while swimming or walking near water, you can pick the nearby fish around. If you want to save yourself some headache from catching all the fish before they run away into every corner of the world, you can instead use some of the characters to make the job easier. One ironic example is Fischl herself, since her charged attacks will electrify the surface of the water, cooking up all the aquatic life form in the vicinity. And fish are excellent cooking ingredients for quite a number of dishes, one of them being chop suey, which can significantly reduce your stamina consumption. Also, make sure not to cheat like Amber who thinks that she's also fishing. There's a lot of beautiful vegetation in Genshin Impact and unsurprisingly there's a few hidden things about it. For example, you can use any of the characters to attack one of the trees holding the fruits to make them fall on the ground. But more importantly, you can also destroy shrubs and smaller foliage for a chance of getting some ingredients like Matsutake, which coincidentally can be used for the strongest dish in the game, which you can unlock from one of the world's secrets. And this tasty dish can give you an extreme boost in not only attack but also heavily increase your critical hit rate. One interesting thing to note is that you can only have three active food buffs, one for defense, one for offense, and one for stamina. And there's some food out there that only increases attack or critical hit, so having a super dish that can increase both and only take up a single buff slot is an amazing one to have in your backpack. Point is, get busy destroying all the shrubs around you. One of the more common things throughout video games are time trial challenges. There's plenty of them to be found in here too, but if you're interested in unlocking 12 treasure chests, you can seek out a specific person who gives you a total of 4 challenges, all of which are located throughout Liu region. Each location gives you a specific task to go from point A to point B. You can complete these challenges up to 3 times for an increasingly better treasure chest. Afterwards, if you have nothing better to do than to wait for your original resin to refresh, you can try to beat your own personal record. And while this is all fine and dandy, the hidden tip is that during these challenges, you can still eat your food and in one of them, you will need to run all the way to the top and if you're lacking in stamina, you can eat one of the dishes to reduce your consumption and sprint like never before. One of the things our Geo Traveler can do is create a giant rock that we mostly use for puzzle solving or maybe grabbing those hard to reach Geoculi. But it seems to be that there's also another great way can use it and exploit some of the enemies in the game, which includes the Ruin Guard. All you have to do is create the elemental construction, climb on it with any archer you have and unleash your attacks. You can also interrupt some of the attacks, but one of them can't be avoided, so it's best to abandon your position and create a new rock elsewhere. Enjoyed the video? Make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon and gently press the like button. Don't forget to check out our other Genshin Impact guides, which includes a tier list that you can also visit on our website gotchagamer.com. Thank you for watching us.